Hi guys and welcome to another video by Fitness Technology Services. So this is really almost an attachment to uh, troubleshooting the motor controller and using the uh, wire harness to determine if you need the uh, display board or not. When I did this on the first video, um, once I installed the controller and I used the um, temporary wire harness on the outside, the console came on so I didn't go any further than that. Um, but I do need to do a display change. So we're going to assume on this one that the uh, display did not come on. And I'm going to change the display. So the first thing we're going to need to do, of course, is going to unplug it. Now the uh, console back of it actually has a lot of screws. I'm sure you'll see a lot of different holes in here. So I've removed some of them. And I'm just going to kind of explain the order in which I do it. So I always remove the lower half of these screws first because I want this to hang down and have this upper half still connected and support the weight. Whenever you work on the upper half first and, and you have it hanging this way, it gets completely in your way. So you wanna remove the lower half first and work your way up, all right? So I'm just gonna see which ones I've done. And I do this either with my drill or a hand screwdriver. Sometimes the drill seems faster, but I can't really see in these holes and especially can't do it right now. So let's see if I can speed it up some. So here's my drill. It'll give me a little light. So the only thing that I also want to mention, whoops, I forgot to do that. So when you do these screws right here, you actually have to have a smaller screwdriver. And I physically remove this screw and this screw right here. And they're a different size. So they're the only two. That you really got to pay attention to. They're much smaller. They're a tiny little screw, okay? So keep track of that. That's what holds these pole spars in. But on the outside, I just loosen these two. And you'll see why in a second. So I remove the inside ones, the outside ones. I just loosen, because I don't want to take a chance on pinching that little pulse wire that runs through there, so. Sometimes less is better. All right, so back to where I was. So it's not dropping yet, just a little bit. I don't know if I got these in here or not. This I kind of like to do with my short screwdriver also, just so I can feel the heads of them. It's got one in it. Yeah. So all the rest of these screws are the same size. So you just need to keep them in track of two little groups, really. Not a big deal. Okay, you're gonna get in your way, but I have to. But you got an idea of this, it's just kind of rinse and repeat. Let's see if I can speed that up a little bit. All right, starting to drop a little bit. Feels a little tight here, I skip this one. Get this one. Let me double check that so I can feel it with the head. Yeah, I think there's one in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're coming loose. And see, if you did the top half first, then this would be falling at you and you'd have to hold this up and hold this up. So now it don't really matter. I can just let it drop a little bit. So if that, nothing else, 
on our way to do the display board. So I can maybe make it a little easier for you. Alright. Alright, so here we go. The last couple I do believe. Now, the last one I do by hand, because I think the whole thing's going to be ready to drop. But see, it can still support itself. So I'm just going to hold it in place. And so I removed probably six of these. I didn't remove them all because I wanted you to get an idea of the time it takes to do it. But I didn't want to drive you crazy and have you do it all completely with me. All right. So now we got to get to this display board right here. Um, you're going to have to remove some screws here. Let me kind of uh, get set up for that. Uh, it's a shame because my display board works, but I got to show you. So I guess while we're here, let me go over a couple buttons with you. This is where your stop and your start button is. This is what's called a, a safety key module. Sometimes that breaks when you put the safety key in, it'll feel wiggly, jacked up. Here are your buttons. These are your button boards, and they all run around to your main display. This is your upper set of button boards, speaker, soundboard, and obviously fan. All right, so everything works on this. I'm just doing this just to show you how it's done, all right? So uh, give me one second, and let me reposition the camera, and I'll be right with you. All right, so we got the uh, back cover off. And as I, like I was saying earlier, you got everything kind of exposed. Make sure it's unplugged. So now, there is a slight difference between this F63 and 65 than the 85. The 85, this is actually another plastic piece here. And you got to uh, remove the six screws on that plastic piece before you can get to the display. So I just kind of want to explain that. And maybe if I can get a hold of one, we can do a video on that. But not today. Let me get in your way a second. So those are the screws that actually hold the console to the frame. So we got to take it up off the frame a little bit so that we can get to the PC board. So we got to move it up like this and then move it up like that. Okay. Now on the other model, there'll be uh, six other screws that take this actual plastic housing off. All right. So we don't have to deal with that for today. What we're going to have are these screws right here. Usually what I like to do, though, because um, since things are slightly heavily glued, I like to pick the glue off. You can take a picture of you want, but I like to take the glue off and physically put the uh, wire harness back in place. It takes a little longer, but I feel a little safer about that. All right. And you got to pick the glue off anyway. So if you remove the screws then the glue is incredibly hard to get. So. Let's see, this one doesn't look too badly glued, so I'm just gonna put that back. That's black to black. So that one might not be too bad, I will leave that out. This one's not too badly glued in. That one's got a lot on it. I'm basically trying to avoid breaking my display because I don't have another. And this one's working. I'm just doing this as a how-to video for you. So this glue is removing pretty easy. Hopefully it'll go that way for you. So this is back in. Again, so that's black to black. I'm not too worried about that one. Pull that out. Put that back in here. This one don't look too bad. A little bit of 
heavy glue right there. Take that out. Put that back in. That looks like a lot right here. Get a big chunk of that. Unglue. Okay. This one's glued a little heavy. They're glued together. Those are glued together. So I don't know about like computer repair people. Yes, maybe all. That one look bad. And that's glue to blue. I'm not going to worry about that one either for right now. Let's look around. Let's see if there's a couple up here. This looks like it goes to the fan. So that's pretty easy. I gotta take this ground off. Oh, that's not fun. What I'm going to have to do is get my uh, needle nose and physically grab it or take it off by the screw on the other end. So, hold on for one second. I'm going to get my next set of tools out. All right, I got my needle nose. I couldn't get this uh, ground wire off. So, I had to physically get my needle nose. It's still hard to get off, even though I already did it once. So that's a tight little fit on that ground wire. All right, so basically the reason why I pull all these out, the next thing I would do is I would place my new display board up in here. So for me, since my display board's good still, you need a very small Phillips head, and you have to remove these display board screws. Some of them are normal number two Phillips, but I'm not that lucky today. So these are tiny, tiny, tiny. Let's see, I gotta hunt them down with a flashlight even. Hopefully you can see better than me and you'll have an easier time at that. Try not to lose any of them. I know it's difficult not to. Shine the light up in here. Let me see some more. Got to be some at the top. Shine it up here a little more. Yes, maybe that. Here's one. Kind of in between everything. I have to lift it up a little bit more. I will probably lose this one in the process. Let's see, that's the one thing you never want to have happen. When this plastic falls out from inside that display, that's going to be hard to put back in. So we're going to put that right there. That goes on the outside of this. That's always a bummer. This board's really small, screw-wise. So one advantage to the newer ones not quite this small. All right, that one. Right in the shadows. That's a screw at all. <laughs> it's a weld piece. No wonder it won't come out. There's another one right here. That would explain that. Right. Let's see if 
a little bit of a drop there. All right, so in your case, I would leave all this completely hooked up still. Then I would slip one screw in on the new board and just kind of hold it in place. So then this will have to go back in here. And I've actually had to tape these in place till I can get them back in place again. But it will go just like this. Come over here just like this. All right. So of course yours would be a new board, not the same board. But I don't want to waste my board. Hold that. All right. All right. So let me get reset up with that again, and I will put the screws back in for you, and we'll turn it on and see if it works. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay, so this uh, glass plastic actually on the uh, display fell on me. So I don't know if you can really see it or if I can be able to get it close enough to it. Oh, well, I give me that on me. I guess I need to change the battery. But anyway, I had to put black tape to hold this uh, cover, lens, whatever you want to call it, in place. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to now, I don't think that helps, but um, reinstall this display, but I'm reinstalling the uh, original one. All right. So uh, let me get set up for that. I just wanted to show you that real quick because once I put the display in, you won't be able to see. Now, of course, the display is going to sit in here like so. And then, so I'm not going to do all the screws in front of you, but of course I'll have to redo all the screws in it. All right. So let me get one or two in place to where it's kind of holding in a little bit. And then I'll kind of finish it up with you. And then we'll go over the wire connections and we'll see if the damn thing still works. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. So I got the display board back in. I put all the little tiny screws in. I lost one. I'm hoping that's not going to be an issue. So you just be a little more careful than me. But I think the brand brand new ones have uh, normal Phillip head number twos. I don't think they have these little tiny number ones. So I did have to disconnect it because I didn't have a new board. I'm going to try and reuse the same board. So we're just going to hook this bad boy back up. Go with the process of elimination. So I know this one's easy because it was blue. Since I didn't have another board, I didn't have the uh, luxury of leaving it hooked up. There we go. There we go. Round wire, which maybe fits. Go back on here. Get that from underneath. Okay. Now we're looking at here. So the wires look like they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, this will only reach to here. So. Can we go to here? Hopefully you've taken a picture of yours. You won't be just guessing at it like me, but I've done it a couple of times, so I'm a little confident. Not necessarily this F63, more the uh, 80s and 85s, which are equally hard to do, so that doesn't matter too much. That's all seated in there. Yeah, okay, that feels okay. Now for this last one right here. I'm 
Mm -hmm. That one down. Feels good. All right, nothing over here. We'll just this fan. All right, I do believe that's it. Pulse wires, you can see they go down to your pulse. Again, the same boards that I went over with earlier, all the button boards. Everything looks to be connected back up. So then you gotta kind of shimmy this thing back in place and get these to go through these holes right here. Then you get to uh, start the reassembly process. So let's take that a little step further. Line that up in those holes there, line that up in those holes there. So then the console comes back down. Um, I guess I'm not going to necessarily drag you through every single screw. What we're going to do is just a reminder. So you have the large screws with the Phillips that kind of hold the whole thing in place. missing that one. That feels better. Alright, so don't torque those down too tight. No, I don't know any actual torque specifications. Um, drill is currently set at drill, so I can move it down to 12 just to be on the same side. So then we'll pop the other one. And right here. That'll kind of hold my console to the base. Now, I wasn't going to put this one in, but I'll get one more, I guess. Okay, then there's one more here, and then that's your frame screw, all right? So now we got to uh, put the console back on, all right? Oh, I forgot one wire here. Luckily, it's black shining up there for me real quick. Still got a little glue in the way. Get the glue out the way. All right. All right. Okay. All right, so we're in the middle of our fun project. So next, I'm not going to put every single screw into the back again for the same reason. So I like to lower these down, which is why I loosen those up in the first place. Because this sometimes has a little lip and that kind of gets in the way. So I like to have a little flexibility. Kind of hold this up here like this, and then right there, and right there. All right. So putting it back, I'm just the opposite. I make sure the back lines up first, and then I clip the top in. All right. So that way everything's held in place right there. All right. So I'm going to put a couple of these in. So the first one's always kind of annoying because you gotta hold the back of the panel up and turn the screw at the same time. All right, but that'll give me something. And we'll put one down in the bottom. Okay. So that basically gets it back in. You'll have to uh, install all your uh, screws for that. Don't forget to put these little tiny screws back in place. Um, can't even find mine right off the bat. So I won't show you how to do that. But they were much smaller than the other ones. Da, 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 da. No. Oh, here we go, right in front of my face. So don't forget to put these little screws back in here.
Pipe knees up on each side. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna stop for one second. I'm gonna turn this thing on, face the camera the other way, and let's see if we're successful. All right, thanks a lot. Be right with you, give me one second. All right, so I'm gonna plug this machine in now. We got the camera up there. I'm gonna show if it works. I heard it beep a second ago, so I know it basically works. Um, so let's go see. So a lot of times when you remove your old display and put a new one in, you kind of damage your old one. So you want to be careful. You want to clip out all the glue, make sure it comes out. Um, but if your display is definitely bad, then you don't have to be as careful as I am. You just have to be careful reinstalling a new one. So let's see if this is going to work. Ready? All right, so we'll check fan, buttons, 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 incline. Uh, stop. All important. Let's we'll have it run for a second. Up again, and we'll test the emergency. Make sure I got that hooked up right. Okay. okay. Speed up to three, maybe. All right. Okay. We are good to go. So there's a uh, completed job. Thanks for sticking it out with me. This is a uh, request. Um, so there's your video. That's how you install a display. Um, that's why it was kind of hard to explain that to you over an email. It's better off to get a visual on that. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot. That's installing a uh, sole treadmill display. This is on a F63 model. Again, it's slightly different on the F80 but it's the same general concept, all right? Thanks a lot, and I look forward to another video with you.